Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Yesterday I received some happy mail. Um, this was from Vicki Phipps and I think the reason why <laughs> she sent me something off of my wish list is because she's the one who won the random giveaway that I had held in a color and chat. It was kind of a surprise giveaway. Um, a number of videos ago and she inadvertently gave me her wrong address so it got returned back to me and so I had to resend it out to her and I didn't want her to pay for postage and whatnot so she so kindly went to my wish list on Amazon and she bought me this Thank you so much, Vicki. That was so, so sweet of you. Um, this is from, it's called Stuff to Color. It's S-T-U-F-F, -F, the number two, and then the word color. All is one word. And they have a ton of coloring things. And I'm going to show you a few other things that I have from Stuff to Color. But let's open up this great big poster. I haven't gotten it out yet. Oh, and I hope I can open it. Wasn't planning on this. I didn't bring a knife, but I do have a scissors. Let me grab that. I'll just snip off an end. And I doubt I will be able to get it back into this plastic, so I guess I'm just going to cut it down so I can get it out of here. Okay, that's not working too well. I don't want to crunch it. See if I can slide it. There we go. Now these posters are jagundo, so there's no way I'm going to be able to show it to you all on camera. This is an extremely, let me get that out of the way, detailed poster. I can't remember what the size of it is. Does it say on here? 32 and a half by 22 inches. So yeah, that's how big this is. So it's it is uh, 22 inches high. Can I get it all in frame? Not quite. But yeah, that's how high. That's the height of it. <laughs> and then it is 32 and a half inches long. But is that not gorgeous? Look at all the fairies. Um, here's a, I don't know what you would call him. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see some of the detail on this poster. Here he is riding a, looks like a bee. Um, there's like these little elf type creatures in the tree. I mean, there's just, you name it, on here. Here's a leprechaun. Let me get this up a little bit higher. Riding, is that supposed to be a mouse? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, but lots and lots of little fairies in this picture. Look at this little baby with a like a mushroom head. And here's another one. <laughs> so cute. Like I said, lots of fairies. Here's a little bitty BB fairy. And the fairies over here. So it is very fairy orientated. Now, what was this called? Under the tree? Beneath the trees. That's what this one is called. Beneath the trees. Here's a. Now, what would you call him? Not an ogre, but sleeping at the base of the tree. Some more fairies. Oh, here's a mama hummingbird feeding her babies. Another hummingbird. Maybe that's the daddy. <laughs> Look at these leaves. More fairies. Um, let me roll up this side so I can pull it over here. 
here one of the little elves. I think that's what he is. Oh, let's roll you up. So I can show some more of that. Coming out of the tree here. I'm trying to show this. <laughs> Look at the face in the tree. I thought that was so cool. I love that. And again, more fairies. Like I said, there's just so much detail to this picture. And then on the end is more fairies and little elves. Here's a fairy riding a bird. Kind of looks like a robin, huh? And lots and lots of leaves, flowers and a few more fairies up here so it's very fairy and little elf like um type of picture look at this it's got like an elf type head but yet it's a bird <laughs> that it's different huh oh and look at this way every as i'm looking at this i keep seeing new stuff Look at this one. It's an elderly elf woman that's coming out of the snail shell. <laughs> Talking to this one. Oh, here's another little one with looks like a strawberry or something coming out. I don't know. Here's one hiding. So is that not adorable? Oh, I love it. And maybe we will do some work on this on camera i assume i'm pretty sure <laughs> i will be using uh, my alcohol markers probably some glitter gel pens for you know some of the finer details and maybe some flowers some of the enhancements that i would want to do on here but thank you thank you thank you vicky this thing is so adorable i love it will take me uh years to probably get it done but <laughs> that's okay you work on it little by little right and i was just going to show you another color it post this is another giant one that I started working on a long, long time ago. And this is why I know that the color it posters are so much fun. This is kind of a geometric design. And I didn't get it real far. This is with, uh, well, this is when I still had my Spectrum Noir set of markers. I had the set of Illustrator markers because I had my tag on here, what colors I was coloring with. And I no longer have that set of markers, so we'll have to come up with some new colors. But yeah, this is another big one that I've been working on and got put away for quite a while. So, I just thought it would be fun to see those. And then another thing from Color It, and I just recently ordered this. Well, wait, let me first show you this. Let me zoom back out. This is a set of, I think it's a set of four that I ordered a while back also, and I have not gotten them out yet. But this is something else you can order from Color It. And it's not something huge like a poster, but it is smaller and it's on super duper heavy cardstock so you can you know frame these once you're done with them and i don't know about the size maybe oh, i don't know 14 by geez i don't know 10 i'm not sure <laughs> i'm just kind of guessing but the set that i got is kind of like uh, patterns and designs of course so it came i think it was four no, I lied. It's five instead of five. Look at this one. It's like a peacock in the middle. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Here's a more uh, Celtic 
design and I love doing those. Then last but not least is this design. So yes, I was going to be using my uh, glitter gel pens on these designs. Um, so you can get this size of poster, if you will, also. So it's not quite as intimidating as those huge monsters. Then the last thing that I wanted to show you, and this I did just purchase. This is another thing um, that Color It has a ton of, and that is their black velvet pictures. Um, I think they have more of these than they have the white background pictures, to tell you the truth. And these are much smaller. Um, so I thought I would get a pack of these, and this is where my wish list kind of grew because I was looking at all the other color stuff. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so yeah, a few of things got added to my wish list. But, so these have the fuzzy background. Let me zoom you back in. I uh, had to put you quite high so that I could show you that poster. Okay, well, let's get you over here. Got you off center from where I usually do. Alrighty, so as I said, they got fuzzy backgrounds. I think alcohol markers would work perfect on here, um, but glitter gel pens and pencil would work great too. And it is, it's not cardstock, but it is, you know little bit heavier of paper. Of course, alcohol ink would bleed through this paper, so you definitely want to put a blotter page behind. But look at that cute sun. Ain't that cute? Oh, look at the pupper dog. I couldn't even remember what pictures were in this set. And the flowers. Oh, I like that one. Ah, I don't remember this one either. Oh, I'm going to have to do this with the kitties and the love. Aww. Okay, then these are the other way. <laughs> For though I know there's an, a few of you that just love your frogs. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Butterflies. Real cute. Ooh, and then the leopard. Ooh, that could be really pretty colored in. And so, and the last one, now this is the one I remembered, and this is kind of the one why I got this set. This one, I think a couple of these are included in a really large set too. This was the set of six, um, but I think you can get all of these like in a set of, uh, I don't know if it was 12 or 15. I mean, there were a whole bunch in a set, but I mainly wanted this fairy one. I think it is just adorable because I wanted to color this before the end of the month blah, 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 um, for the Fun with Fairies color along that I am uh, involved with uh, Sandy from Color Creatively for our Fun with Fairies color along for the month of June. Um, so I thought that would be a really cute one to do. And I probably will do it in uh, alcohol markers. So, aren't those cute? So yeah, this is the set of six. I will link this set, and I will link that big poster down below, that under the trees. Under the trees? Keep forgetting what it's called. Beneath the trees, okay. Um, I'll link this set and that big poster um, down in the description and then if you click on one of those links um, and then do a search for stuff to the number two color all is one word you'll see all the tons of uh, stuff to color items on Amazon they do have their own website too and I believe it is stuff to color.com uh, I can also leave a link down below in the description to their website. Um, I'm not sure if there's, I think there's some shipping 
uh, fees if you order off the uh, stuff to color website whereas if you have prime you know of course you don't have to pay shipping you get it in a couple days I'm not sure if you order enough on stuff to color maybe you get free shipping um, so but you can check out their site too so I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all of the things that I got from stuff to color and again Vicki thank you so much for my poster again I'm going to have to color some of this on camera so that we can uh, yeah do a color and chat and, and uh, chat about it as we color so okay so I guess that's it for this video I hope you liked watching this and if you did please hit that like button subscribe if you are new to my channel hope everybody had a terrific week and as always happy coloring bye guys